All right, I'm done painting my boat now. Last thing to do is to put the finishing touches on it. Gonna paint the name of the boat. The name of the boat is Queen Rosa. The best lead dog I've ever had. All my whole dog yard comes about out of her. They're her grandchildren, her sons, daughters. She was a wonderful dog. And now that she's passed, I really want to honor her with this. Because she always used to love to just ride up on this bow right here with me. And she was my navigator. And I wish she was going out with me today. This dog, Rosa, she was the kind of dog that affected the whole dog team. I've had about a hundred dogs probably since I've started mushing dogs. Out of all those dogs, I just can't think of a dog that was just more wonderful, you know? So I couldn't imagine a better thing to name my boat after than my lead dog. She was real humble, meek, mild, but when it came to being on the trail and racing, she was out there to win. Oh man, you know, no matter what the kind of trail I'd be on with Rosa, she wouldn't get you off the trail, she wouldn't get you in the deep water, she knew ice, she knew how to travel through storms. I'm looking for that in this dog yard and I can't even say I quite have that magical dog yet, but I think, you know, there's one in the making out there for sure out of her bloodline. This top-notch, excellent dog. But you know, the strong attributes of the sled dog, drive, determination, athleticism, it's a full package. They gotta have tough feet, tough minds, big hearts. I mean, these are the best athletes in the world, these Iditarod sled dogs. They travel a thousand miles in eight days, burning 13,000 calories a day. I mean, there's nothing superior to an Iditarod sled dog in my mind. Here we go, we got my uh, name for my boat. I'm gonna take it down to the river with my dogs and put it in and see if the motor runs.